Hi, how are you? This week what I'm going to do is review the classical... I'm sorry. This week what I'm going to do is review the Christopher Parkening Guitar Method Volume 1. So this book teaches the basics of classical guitar. And inside the book there are also 50 classical pieces. There are 26 examples and there are 14 duets. So if you click this link right here, you can go to one of those videos where I play some of those classical pieces. So in this video, what I'm going to do though is go through what's in this particular book. And I was just about to explain that this covers technique, note reading and theory. So you can actually take this book and go through it without having any knowledge and you can start to learn the classical guitar. But the best thing is if you can get yourself a teacher to show you some of the things in this book. And that's a, that's a much faster way. So also in this book, what I found is there's a page of guitar chords, the basic guitar chords, and there's also a very, con a very nice musical dictionary of musical terms. And there's uh, a personal note from uh, Christopher Parkening about his personal faith. And he's a very outspoken Christian. You'll also find a brief history of classical guitar. Now, I do have some criticisms about this book, but I'll leave that till later. But right now, what I'll do is I'll play you some of the pieces in the book. And let me just mention that the pieces are actually written in different keys, up to three sharps or one flat. So let's go. Let me play you some of those pieces in the book. And then at the end, I'll explain some of the things that I think could be improved. So let me play some of the things that are in this book. So the book goes through a lot of preliminary things. And what I'm going to do is play something early on in the book. It's on page 35. Before that, we've got all kinds of exercises and explanations about the string names and um, how to read the music and so on. So this is one of the early pieces in the book. It's called Eau Claire de la Luna. And it goes something like this. That's an old French song, as it says here. So here we go. that. Now what I'm doing is taking a look at page 55 and on this page we've got two pieces. There's a theme from Symphony Number no. 9 of uh, Ludwig van Beethoven and then there's also an, an English folk song. Now the Symphony Number no. 9 theme is also used in another piece in the book which does something a little bit different. So this is the first one and it goes like this. goes like this. And then the other piece is the English folk song, which goes like this. Now let's take a look at the other Beethoven piece, which is basically the same theme, and you'll recognize this as Ode to Joy. And this is a little bit different way to play this piece. It goes like this.
that one. That was page 58, by the way. Now I am going to go to page 62, and this is Tarantella. pages later there's a piece called green sleeves and this goes like this I have not practiced this so let me see if I can sight read this one Now here's a piece that's usually associated with the piano. It's called Fur Elise, and it's written by Ludwig van Beethoven. Now this piece you associate as a beginner's piece for piano. Well, on guitar, guitar is a little bit more complicated instrument, so you need to be a little bit farther ahead on guitar to play this than you will be on, on a piano. But it's still, it's still really a beginner's piece, and it goes like this. And by the way, this is on page 83. wasn't perfect but anyway you get the idea now a lot of this has been classical pieces and close to the end of the book we have a piece called Malagania and this is typical of this style of playing and uh, let's see if I can do this this I haven't really practiced that much to be able to play this so I'm, I'm basically following trying to follow the music and kind of keep the spirit of this thing going as as uh, as I go through it let's let me see if I can do it uh, in one shot. Let's see.
So that's pretty much it. Now, I'd like to say that there are pros and there are cons about this. And then the pros are that this is a great book for anyone who wants to learn the basics to start classical guitar. You can start from scratch and go through this book. It also has a nice variety of pieces, not just the standard classical ones, but some, some other different folk tunes and uh, like the last one, the Malaganya and uh, a number of Bach pieces so that it's got it's got a good variety of pieces that use different techniques for a classical guitar. Now the cons that I see are this and I have the utmost respect for Christopher Parkening and the effort that he's put into making this book. There's only one scale shown in the book and perhaps that's on purpose yet the book has pieces that go up to uh, three or four sharps and one flat. So there, there are none of the scales related to those keys. That's a small thing and uh, I, you can overlook that and, and anybody who's teaching guitar using this book can certainly explain the scales and, and uh, how to do the scales. And the other, the other small criticism I have is that there are some pieces that require using a bar and I, I don't think there's enough preparation for that but then again, if you have a good teacher, the teacher can, can be able to explain how to play the bar, which is, uh, which is using a finger across more than one string to play, to play those notes on, on each of the strings that are barred. It's a great book. If you want to learn classical guitar, go out and get it. And uh, there'll be a link below to the webpage, the guitarbasement.com webpage, and you'll be able to click on the link there to the book. So, having said that, I hope you found this useful if you follow this all the way through and remember stay tuned and look forward to seeing you soon.